God bless everybody today. It is September 10th of 2023. I wanted to do a specific video on a very specific date, which is the 10th of Tevet, but it also leads into a number of other dates that are destruction events in the Jewish history and how they line up with what is possibly coming up um, on December 22nd of 23 of this year. Will we see a actual sieging of Jerusalem on this date, December 22nd of 23, based on the history of the Jews and the past um, events that have happened to them in the past. So I think it's important that we go over some of these dates. Um, December 22nd of 23 is extremely important. My high watch day uh, right now that we should be looking at. We'll see what happens. Maybe nothing. Uh, I don't want to get your hopes up that something's going to terribly happen on that day. So just realize that I'm not hoping for these events to occur. I'm just saying that we could see them occur based on past history. So let's look at the Tent of Tevet and how it leads into a number of other dates that might be pertinent to what we're looking at as we move forward. And it also adds uh, some content to my paradigm. Um, so these commemorate, the Tent of Tevet commemorates a um, variety of Jewish tr tragedies. Um, so the Tenth of Tevet is one of four fast days. Now we talked about a number of dates that matter in the Jewish history, and I believe there's another date which actually is indicated on here um, that sort of adds to my paradigm. So let's look at that. So the Tenth of Tevet is one of the four fast days that commemorate dark times in Jewish history. The other is Tisha B'Av, the day of destruction of both temples in Jerusalem, 17th of Tammuz, the day of the breaching of the defensive wall of Jerusalem by Titus and the Roman legions in 70 CE, and the third of Tishri, the day that marks the assassination of the Babylonian appointed or Antichrist appointed in the future governor, a uh, Jewish governor of Judea. Um, and that's his name, and it's in um, the Bible, okay? Now, I'm going to show you this on the paradigm so you can see where that is. And he's actually killed on Rosh Hashanah, which um, is in September usually. But the f fast day was advanced to the day after Rosh Hashanah because of the holiday. And so there's all these little discrepancies you, you need to be aware of. But let's go look at my paradigm chart real quick on uh, endofdayssurvival.com. So on this paradigm that I've been showing you for a long time now, I talked about, I'm going to blow this up a little more so you can actually see this, because it's hard to read, so I, I want you to be able to actually read this a little better. So I had the September 25th date, um, where I said the son of Netanyahu, or Nethanyahu, I, I, it looks like Netanyahu, I'm just saying, I think it's Abner, kills a regional leader assigned by Antichrist. And I give you the verses, Jeremiah 41, 1, 2 Kings 25, uh, verse 23 to 25, and Jeremiah 41, 1 to 18. So if that's the case, and it's a September of, of 25, then we go look up that very specific date. I will add this to the chart because I want to update these dates as I find them. We find that the a third of Tishri is on September 25th of 25. And so if you go to September 25th of 25 and you go back to my paradigm, so this would give me actually a very specific date of September 25th of 25 that this event would actually occur on right before Rosh Hashanah. Okay, so just realize that I'm probably going to update this to September 25th of 25. And so this event of this man, um, this Jewish man dying that's been assigned by Antichrist um, in the future would potentially perish or die on September 25th of 25 based on my paradigm that I just shown you. Um, so look at this. It says this, and this is important, I believe, because it falls within the paradigm they keep talking about. The Tenth of Tibet is viewed as such a severe and important fast day 
that it is observed even if it falls on a Friday. And on December 22nd of 23, it does fall on a Friday. So that's an interesting note that this date has to be recognized even though it wouldn't be normally on that Friday. And I've talked about how if you go into multiple verses of the Bible, and I can show you that on the paradigm real quick. So when you blow this out, that destruction of that governor was here, okay, after Antichrist is already on the ground. But this December date of 22nd of 23 is in this area here. And so if we blow that up and we go into that area, you can actually see those very specific dates. Oh, shit. So when let's blow the paradigm back out. That, that date of the destruction of that governor is here, okay, September 25. But if you go to the December 22nd of 23 date and you move that in, I will do that real quick you'll realize I say the White Horseman is Erdogan and that this besiege on Jerusalem will be actually led by Turkey and Erdogan. So the, just realize that that's what's going on there. I've made many discussions and videos about how I believe Erdogan is the White Horseman of Revelation and how he will basically bring a quarter of the world into war, which is the Middle East, and that will happen soon as he gets ready to go against the Kurds which is the Daniel 8 and Ezekiel 38 and 39 prophecies, which I have indicated down here, which are the seals war, um, down here, which are the seals war. Um, so Daniel 8 and Ezekiel 38 and 39 actually work together. They're the seals war of seals one through six. When you get into December 22nd of 23, you potentially will see a sieging of Jerusalem on this very specific date. This date would be the 10th of Tevet, and that falls on a Friday, which then is not normally recognized, um, but it has to be due to the severity of the event, and they do recognize this event, whether it falls on a Friday or not. So it's interesting that they have to observe this date, or this uh, December 22nd, 23 date on a Friday this year. They don't have a choice. Um, and that's extremely important because that was when um, the siege on uh, Jerusalem happened in Nebuchadnezzar's time. And here it is right here. The 10th of uh, Tibet marks the onset of the siege of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, and beginning the battle that ultimately destroyed uh, Jerusalem and the temple of Solomon and sent the Jews into a 70-year Babylonian exile okay and so this is an extremely important date and this year this date is on December 22nd of 23 and as we watch Israel being surrounded by Iran and we're watching uh, Turkey start um, heavier bombing against Kurds on the Syrian Iraqi borders we're going to see them break out in Syria and they're going to go down into Syria and Lebanon which will end up in Israel and Egypt and we could potentially see this sieging of Jerusalem on December 22nd of 23 of this year as it happened in the past. So if you move down through the article, it says the 10th of Tibet is viewed as such a severe and important fast day that is observed even if it falls on a Friday or Shabbat. Um, and look, we I view Saturdays as a Sabbath day, not a Sunday. So just realize that. And that goes with this, which is a Friday to Saturday event. And so Sabbath would fall on a Friday to Saturday while our other fast days are so arranged by calendar adjustments as to never fall on a Friday but this does this year and I believe that is very profound that it actually falls on a Friday of this year on December 22nd of 23 and so the 10th of Tibet has to be um, basically recognized um, on a day that they normally wouldn't do so. So it, it is not to interfere with the Sabbath preparations and so this will interfere with the uh, Sabbath preparations as um, they move into December 22nd to 23 and it does fall on a Friday. Um, 
And so the article goes into a number of different things, but this is basically where I wanted to stop with this video. Um, God bless everybody. Watch December 22nd of 23.